back guys this week's video is all about the storage unit and the goal is to get it done in two days and I know you've heard that a hundred times before but this is gonna be a really simple storage build so I'm hoping we can stay on track for this one we have already started building the frame so we can show you more visually how we are doing it as you can see it's not touching the back wall and the reason I'm doing this is because then I don't need to build a framework that curves around here that works around the wheel um, arch box and this cavity here I'd rather just miss it and keep it really square and simple and this is how I built my storage unit in LL as well so if you saw my stories on Instagram you'll know exactly how I did it so what we'll do once the framework is built is cut the front faces to meet the curves of the van <laughs> So now we have the framework partially done. Sam's just in the background testing the fridge and was it all good? Yeah, it's all working. All working, so anyway, next up is cutting this. So I'll take you closer. This lid overhangs by about, I don't know, three mil. And we wanna cut it back so it sits level with the framework. So then that way the storage framework can also sit level against the bed framework. And how are we gonna do it? With a jigsaw. And once again, we popped a B&Q to get all of the door fronts cut for us. And now we're going to continue building the framework for the storage unit by placing struts where we want the bottom of the wardrobe to sit. We're now going to add another strut in here. This bit is going to be the bathroom and what we're going to do is have a folding seat in it. Because it's going to be so small, about 50 by 60, you can't move around too much in here. So our friend actually suggested putting a seat in there so you can just sit down and use the hose lock and shower yourself down and it reduces the movement. So we've measured the backs of our legs. That's what Google said to do to see where the right height should be. Mine's 50, Sam's at 53. So we're going for a 51 height. Um, so yeah, that will go there and then the seat can be screwed into that and be nice and secure. <laughs> Whilst we're down here, we've actually realized that we made a little bit of a mistake that we're gonna lose all of this space. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multi-saw here and down here so that we can rest it on top of the wheel arch. Saves us a bit more space and we can have some more room to shower. Now we've got our framework complete, it's time to screw the storage unit into situation. That way we can then start working on scribing the side facings and the wardrobe bottom panel. The first thing we're gonna do is just put one screw in that will make sure that the storage unit is sitting square to the rest of the framework in the van. Another busy dog on the build today. Mm -hmm. We positioned it in the complete wrong place. We literally just said, oh, we'll shift it back, blah, blah, blah. We knew what we are doing. Then we just whacked it in a whole inch away from where it was supposed to be. So we're going to do that again. So we're going to split up the jobs to make things a little bit faster. I'm, as always, doing the scribing and the woodwork, the yeah, hard the part. So this is going to be the bit that faces off the storage unit from the back and I don't really know what Nick's doing. I am painting but now I know why he told me to hold the camera because he was going to say he's doing the hard work but to be fair his is, is, is the harder work yeah. Painting is just therapeutic. What are you doing Smelly? Oh, that That's is good. close, isn't it? All we need to do now is scribe this off a little bit more to bring it closer, so then it will sit nice and tight around here, which we've cut out, so that the door can slide on the recess, and we put these metal plates in so it doesn't scratch up the wood. Yeah, the metal plates are just um, door pushes. I now have all of the door fronts painted. Thanks to the sun that decided to make an appearance, it made it so quick 
you know the other day it took us a couple days to get everything painted and now it just took us about two hours now i think it's time for a little dog break i've got holly here with us as well by the way i went for the soho beige color on the wardrobe So we've now finished off the facing <gasps> for the storage. Yay! Oh, and I'm painting it now. So. We're keeping this open, this bottom bit. There's not going to be a door and it'll help ventilation, help with ventilation. And then there's a gap here at about 10 centimetres. So there'll be airflow um, and you'll be able to access it from the front as well with a sliding door down here. So I don't know what we'll put in there or what people will put in there. Maybe some camp chairs. <laughs> so guys, the van build's progressing really well today. <laughs> Next up on my task list, my very hard task list, since Nick is still painting, we're going to be creating some shelves and we haven't got a set size that we're going to be creating these out of. We've literally just grabbed some scrap wood, whatever we've got left, and they obviously match the depth of the shelves that we're going to be using. And all we're going to do is straighten these off and use these as the base for the shelves. Can I just say, Sam has enlisted his dad to help him with all his tasks. It's just a one-man band over here painting. Now, day two of the storage build. Woo! Sam, do you think we've got this? I know we've got this. We, we definitely have. have. To do today. I think we'll definitely finish it today. Standing Although, don't hold me to that. So, uh, every time that we've actually said we're going <laughs> to yeah. so far, we haven't. So. No, but come on, look at this. We are on track for the first time, I think. Razzling my dazzle unless yeah. I jinx it. This is where we left it <laughs> yesterday. We've got all of the side face on. It needs sanding and painting. This whole framework is painted. Sam and his dad started making progress on the shelving unit that's going inside. And this morning we went off to Wix to grab all the little bits that we needed to complete the rest of the storage unit. So yeah, I think I think the sun has helped us, hasn't it? It's oh, powered definitely. us up. It's been so, so nice the past few days. So my task today is to work on the doors. And I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm building it similar to GJ, if you guys ever watched that build on YouTube. Um, so what we've got is, let's start down here actually, two pieces of U-shaped plastic. Um, I don't know what they're legitimately called because every shop calls them something different, but we've got two because there's going to be two doors like so, and they will slide left and the right like this cool. yeah so two of these sitting behind and then we might put a little bit of wood along the front here to hide it and then on the bottom we also have a little door that will be doing the same apart from there'll be like a front face here and on here because we need to be able to put more bed struts for the table to drop down and form the rest of the bed and then a little door there so if you want to get to like your garage from inside the van you can for the sliding doors, we've gone with 9mm ply and the U-shaped plastic has a 10mm gap in between so that the plywood can slide perfectly in between. No, you know what? It's so tacky. I don't even think we have to clamp that up. I didn't want to clamp it really either because I thought it might crush the plastic. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is so good. Highly recommend Gorilla, whatever it was. Tacky gorilla, thing. grab a decent. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Next up for me is getting the front faces on the bottom half of the storage unit. My power is just adding the filler to the shelving unit. Check that. I feel like I'm just taking all the glory grabbing it off <laughs> off you both. But yeah. Okay. There we go. Bit tight in here now, isn't it? We are now on the final stages of the storage unit. It actually feels so good to be progressing at a pace where we've said we're going to keep to us. Yeah, wow. and it's a bigger wardrobe than in our van. I think bigger everything in here is room. bigger than what we have in the van. <laughs> and it's, I don't know how, because this is a medium wheelbase and 
It's making me want to move into here. I think uh, <laughs> you've got enough space to move out if you like. <laughs> Watch this space. Wait. What have we got left in Nifty BB? So, we've got the like U things up here. They're yeah. now tacked, they seem pretty solid. We need to put them on the bottom, but um, we have to do that at the same time as putting the door in, mm -hmm. um, because otherwise we can't get the doors in. This is now in, which we then need to work on the side face here, which is also the back wall of the bathroom. And this has to be perfect. And we can't wait to share with you how we're building the bathroom. Like we're really excited, inspired by our friends Van Monkeys. So there's a clue. Um, where are we at down here? Down here? We've got another door to go in. So we're waiting for that U thing to dry. So then we can put that in and that's basically complete. Mm -hmm. Can we go back up here? Let's go back up. So once this is all painted, so again, I'm on painting duties today. We can then put this rail up ah. in there. That looks really difficult. <laughs> A yeah, lot of it is really difficult. This is literally as far as it will go in as well. So. Do you think Trying I'm to scribe the corner over there, it's going to be difficult. What are you two doing over there? Snuggle yeah, bear. Yeah. To build the walls for the bathroom, they have to be perfect for the design that we're going for. So we're starting off with a template. And now we've got the template correct, we've scribed it onto the actual piece of wood. So very nerve wracking. And what we're doing here is just going back and forth and back and forth, scribing off a little bit at a time. Like I said, it's got to be perfect. The moment of truth. It's always scary cutting these pieces as well. <gasps> Hello, so sweet good. baby. That's good, isn't it? You're going to get that label off though, yeah? Uh, that's your job. <laughs> completely painted. I am so grateful for the sun because this would never have happened in two days if it was not out to help us. So next up on the wardrobe is putting these fittings in. These are um, like socket fittings for the rail to go into. So that's going to go in there. These are from Wix. I think it was about £4 and £3. As always, we'll link the products in the description below. First up, we're going to add an extra strut at the top as that's where the rail sockets will go. We aren't able to do it lower because we've used 5mm ply on the side facing and therefore the screws that would need to be used would be way too small to carry the weight that could be on the rail. Okay, cool. We have a rail! Yay. So, we are now on the final stages of the storage unit! Look at it! It looks incredible. I do feel like it's a bit of a blank canvas because we've painted it all beige, but once the build's all done and we get like the details on the doors and stuff in, I think it will um, enhance it. I don't know, give it some bababoom? <laughs> is that what it's called? So next up is the doors. So earlier you saw us tack the top of the, um, what are they called? Like U-shaped plastic things. Um, and do let us know if there's an easier way of doing this, but I haven't thought of one. So what we're going to do is basically insert the doors into here. <laughs> I can't get it in now, the camera's on. And <laughs> I'm not going to put it in. Whilst the bottom U is on the door, I don't know how else to get the doors in otherwise. So it's going to be a bit of a messy job because obviously we're going to have the tacky glue underneath it and then we're going to have to try and slide it into the perfect spot. Um, so I think we're going to have to get loads of tissues just in case to like wipe down all the paintwork that we've just so beautifully done. But yeah, this is what it will kind of look like and it'll go. So yeah, last job, last bits. For once, we are actually ahead of time. Yeah, we gave we? ourselves another half day tomorrow, but we, I don't think we'll need it. We'll just do like... We're so experienced now, aren't we? So experienced. We're professionals now, guys. Come on. <laughs> it's not as messy as I thought it was going to be, but it, it's still... You can have a look inside. Oops. It's still got in places. So also, guys, whilst we're here, whilst we're in the garage, this is the garage, by the way, welcome. Um, you can see these modesty blocks are holding the front faces in, but I've also purposely positioned them in the place that I want the door to stop. Um, so it doesn't just go all the way back here as that front face is wider than the door. So if they push it too much, it will just 
be hidden behind it. We don't want that. Clever bear. And here's a view from the front. You're going to be putting some strips on the top and bottom, aren't you, to hide the plastic? Yeah, yeah. We do have a half day tomorrow, so I think we'll probably wrap up today to just enjoy the rest of the yeah, evening yeah. and then do the little odd bits tomorrow together. Cool. Yeah? Oh my god. Oh. Does it slide smoothly? Slides super smooth. First up for us is cutting all of the little lips to cover the U plastic angles. And as always, it's a very messy job with this glue. And are very confident we're gonna get this done by half day today. And currently the painting station is at the floor of the van. So we've got all of the lips clamping. Um, and the glue is just over spilling everywhere so we're gonna just have to tidy it all up at the end so next up on the storage unit that's also part of the bed is adding these little struts on similar to this one here and the one behind me to hold the tabletop up so this one's gonna go here and then we'll have one that goes there and we're gonna again glue it and screw it down I am so excited that the storage unit is nearly done and that the little struts for the tabletop to rest on are in. Tomorrow I'm going to my parents for four days with Onyx and their flat isn't dog friendly so we'll be staying in the van so initially we were going to be sleeping on the single part of the sofa bed together but now we're going to be able to pull it all out and stretch out. Do you know what as well? This bed is bigger than the bed that we have in the van we live in. Don't be jealous Sam. Now on the final piece of the puzzle, the facing for the top of the storage unit. For this we're using some pallet wood that we found a few months ago and was hoping to use throughout the build but haven't yet. And to fit it we're using modesty blocks. We love those things. Final piece of the puzzle. That's literally what I said for my um, voiceover. Wow. <laughs> you must have stolen it off me. Great minds think alike. Oh. Oh. oh that looks so good. This is it. I'm going to paint it off and then we'll pop it in. Eek! Let's go! Help me. Yeah, it's wet. <laughs> but we're desperate to get it in. I've got five minutes until I need to leave oh. to meet my friend, don't I? Ugh. You have to help. Excuse the noise, we've put the heater on, we're testing it. For when I'm away for the next four days, because it'll probably still get cold at night, four days. so. Yeah. I thought you were going for what? No, I'm going till Sunday. What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we soak about this. <laughs> You go for four days. <laughs> oh my god, well, there we go. Oh god, that's looking good! That's looking good! The storage unit is now complete, so it only feels right to give you a little storage unit tour. So, this is the top half of the storage unit, which we're calling the wardrobe. This is it. Inside, we've got our rail for hanging clothes. It'll also be a space where you can pop your backpacks or suitcases away. Um, taking you to the right hand side of the wardrobe, we have a lovely shelving unit. Three tiered, so we've got some boxes actually up here, like this, so I might I might find some nicer ones that will just slot in. That you can put your pants, your socks in, your clothes, whatever. So closing that off. Down here we've also got access to what we're calling the garage. So this is it. <laughs> also how Onyx decides to enter the van now. He jumps up through that gap and then he scratches this door to say, let me through. So that's in place and we are leaving um, the back open. There's not gonna be a door, so it'll help with like ventilation and there'll be a little bit of a gap here as well. So next up is showing you the bed. Obviously we've shown it you before, but we've now made an extra little bit of addition because the storage unit is now in. We've got our little struts for the bed. So this is the tabletop that we still need to paint and it goes like this. And then I'll pull this out for you as well. We still haven't got the handle on here yet, so once that's on, it'll be easy to pull out. 
And also, we ran the jig through each of these struts to give it like more gap, and now it just rolls, like it rolls. It moves so easily. So this is the bed. I'm gonna climb on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there we go. So that is what we've been up to this week. Two and a half days to build this storage unit. I'm pretty proud of it. We're gonna wrap it up here and we'll catch you in the next YouTube video where we'll be building the bathroom, which I think is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a giant wet room with a folding down chair, composting toilet. It's gonna be awesome, so see you then.